My name's Hannah Joel, and I have been with SIM serving in mission in South Sudan for around four years. I've had the privilege of working in a medical clinic with people who have had leprosy. So I've worked with two South Sudanese colleagues, Harun and Cornelius, and we would um, assess all those who come in and those who are diagnosed with leprosy, then we're able to provide treatment for them. I've also been able to use my physiotherapy skills to help people who've had mobility issues or neurological issues or back pain and um, either see them at the clinic or make home visits. This has given us access to be able to um, talk to them, to form relationships and also to share Jesus with them. There are many beliefs about leprosy and often one of the main ones is that it's really dangerous and you need to stay away from someone who has leprosy. So people who have leprosy aren't often cared well for by their families or by their communities. They're often um, sort of rejected and kept far away. And so one of the main things that we try to do is educate. God calls us to love and what does love look like practically in these instances with those who have leprosy and that's eating with them, living near them, caring for them. So this March I had the privilege of witnessing a baptism. So Bota is an elderly Maban woman who received treatment for leprosy way back in 2010. Her leprosy was cured, but some of the side effects of leprosy she has remained with. And so because of her deficits, we have visited her regularly, routinely, since 2010. And so, um, you know, in the course of sort of talking to Bota, we were able to ask her, like, Bota, do you, you know, have you heard about Jesus or do people talk to you about Jesus any other times? And she shared, no, do you know what? The only times I've heard about Jesus is when you have come um, to visit me. And so we were able to witness Bota choosing to follow Jesus and to demonstrate that to her family and her community. Um, so in November, I will be returning to Nairobi and at that point in time, I will be starting a new position called the Field Care Facilitator. Part of that role will include looking at our resources and processes for the orientation of new members, as well as the resources and processes of caring for um, my colleagues, the fellow missionaries, um, for their emotional and psychological health. In going back, um, there are a lot of unknowns. So I'm not entirely sure where I'll be living. I am not entirely sure how that whole revision and process piece will go. And so I would love if you could pray um, just that I would um, so know God's leading and wait and trust that He knows the, the answers to all of these questions um, and also that I would wait quietly um, until He reveals those. I want to thank Central so much um, for all of your support. I could not do this without um, all those that surround me and who support me along the way and um, it is for sure a team effort and so I just want to pass along my sincere thanks.